I'm here at Mobile World Congress Americas and I'm joined by Eric West from Harman, uh, who's Strategic Partnerships and yeah. Connected Services. So tell me a little bit about Harman. Absolutely. So Harman is first off a part of Samsung as of March and uh, it's through our connected uh, products divisions that we ultimately generate value and how it is we can help Samsung grow in an, into a new segment, which is automotive. Ultimately what yielded this conversation. I mean, they spent $8 billion, right? Right. It was a lot of money. So, so what are they getting from the uh, acquisition and, and what, what does that lead to in the future? Absolutely, well first off, uh, everything we do in the automotive sector has, has entirely started and founded with experience-led architecture. So the exciting part about what it means to the true relevance of the future of automotive is all about helping those people in partnership develop the future of what it means to be relevant to people in terms of their mobility solutions. So ultimately, what it is Connected Services does to complement our connected car technologies is what enables that transformation. And so Connected Communications is, is, is what to Harman? It is enabling, right? Okay. It is enabling new experiences. It is enabling of that, again, the idea of connected products. Right. Um, and that is ultimately what, as or dating back to ultimately what we announced at CES this past year, uh, is what powers that the ecosystem that Harman has built and will continue to grow into Samsung. So is that cellular and BL, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, all of those? I mean, all of those things. And in fact, so we go, uh, we go for, so far as to develop in a true agnostic fashion the objective solution, depending on the domain, and for consumer solutions, the the normal Bluetooth low energy, Wi-Fi and even extending into the home with Zigbee, for instance, is what enables the experiences, again, that what we're pursuing to develop. Um, but as it grows outside into the connected vehicle in the future, there is a variety of other V2X technologies that we're pursuing, again, in partnership with those same automotive OEMs to develop how it is that these vehicles and ultimately solutions connect the people that they serve to new ecosystems. All right, so, so two, two areas I want to pick up on. Sure. Um, you talked about the solutions. I mean, what do, you, what do you call a solution? Can you give me an example of what a solution is? Absolutely. So in the automotive domain, we talk greatly about, again, how it is that these automotive providers, meaning the car manufacturers today, create solutions that make it easier, more straightforward, more, uh, more joyful, frankly, to use their vehicles. So the solutions we provide are what ultimately develops some kind of future experience of how people interact with their vehicle. So think about you know, ultimately what it means to have a, not just a better music listening experience, but content consumption, right? And that could be dating as far back to, sure, uh, using the streaming service that you'd like for audio, um, but then as it pushes forward, the market pushes forward more importantly into autonomy, that opens up a whole new host of conversations about what it means to be able to take advantage of the fact you're no longer required to be, frankly, paying attention to driving the car.